What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of sharks? If you watch the movie Jaws, does that horror-filled background music start playing in your mind? When you close your eyes and visualize a shark, does his spine start to tingle in fear, thinking about the monster ready to eat you up? If yes, then give yourself a break. In all likelihood, the shark is not even interested in you. Humans are not their natural prey. In fact, there are more chances of us getting struck by lightning or getting hit by a falling meteorite than actually being killed by a shark. A hundred million sharks on an average are killed each year by us through overfishing, hunting and finning. How many humans do you think are killed every year by sharks? The answer is just five or six. A hundred million lives versus six lives makes you wonder who the actual monsters are. A negative portrayal of sharks in popular media does promote fake news about their natural behavior. Now, one can argue that it should not be taken too seriously as these films are created purely for entertainment. However, we cannot deny the effect these movies have on us, especially during our growing up years as children. We all know that as human beings, we only protect things that we love. We only love things that we understand. Understanding how important these sharks are for our own ecosystems can drive us to protect them. Sharks are responsible for the ocean's health. They maintain the delicate balance of the marine ecosystems by controlling the food chain. Taking sharks out of the equation increases the population of other big fish that feed on herbivores. With lesser herbivores, algae become dominant and this affects the overall health of the ocean and eventually this affects our survival as human beings. Sharks are just one of the several species vilified by popular media and movies. Some of the other examples of vilified species as you all know are vultures, spiders, snakes, hyenas, bats, tigers like in the jungle book. I would love to hear your thoughts on how we can change the narrative, change mindsets and thus protect and conserve our natural world.